company called Veek reached out to me to test their new tablet called the Viola L Pen Tablet. Whether you're new to digital art and you don't really know where to start with it, or if you're an experienced digital artist and looking for a new tablet to try out, this is definitely the video for you. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. If there's anything about me that can be a bit of a problem sometimes <laughs> is that I love testing out new tablets, which isn't exactly the cheapest of hobbies. So whenever I'm given the opportunity to try out a new tablet, I am very excited for that. And so I want to thank Veek for sponsoring this video. If you've never heard of them before, they are a tablet company that makes both pen tablets and display tablets, as well as tablet accessories, which include, but are not limited to stands for your tablet. I really like the look of all of their tablets. And so when they reached out to me to try their Viola L pen tablet, I was very excited to give it a go. And I do want to give a bit of a disclaimer that yes, this is a sponsored video, but that said, I am going to be giving my honest opinions and what I genuinely think are pros and cons of this tablet. And even though I am working with them in this video, all of these opinions are my own. By the end of the video, you like what you see, feel free to use the links in the description box below. And if you get a tablet through their AliExpress shot, use the code from Oliver for 5% off. I also forgot to mention that you can get 5% off orders placed on their Amazon stores by using code VEEKOLIVER. That said, let's get into the unboxing. The first thing I will say, the tablet arrived a lot sooner than I expected it would. <laughs> After I was told that the tablet was on its way to me, it arrived just a few days later, which was very nice. And of course, the actual box for the tablet itself was very nice and everything inside was perfectly safe. As I unboxed the tablet, I found a glove, which was very soft and comfortable to wear. There's a cord to plug the tablet into. Not much to say about that one. <laughs> it came with a ton of nib replacements, including a nice little tool to remove the nibs from your pen. I thought that this was really nice because a lot of budget tablets either don't provide replacements at all or provide very little. And so the amount that they gave was... I... Uh, I was shocked, to say the least. <laughs> I don't know if you'll ever need to buy nib replacements again with how many they've given you. The tool is incredibly easy to use. There's that little slit in the tool. You put the nib through the larger side of it. You slide the tool over slightly so the nib goes more on the smaller end, and then you just pull it out, and then boom, the nib was removed. Another really neat feature is that they actually provided button replacements for the tablet, which isn't something that I can say I've ever seen before, if I'm being honest. A lot of tablets, I guess, just assume that you're not going to mess up the buttons, <laughs> and so the fact that they gave you button replacements was really really, really nice. When I first unboxed it, I just pulled the buttons out, <laughs> which I would not recommend doing. If you need to know anything about me, it's that I have a small brain. And so I didn't really realize that the same tool that you use to remove the nibs has that flat end that you use to remove the buttons with, which is a much safer way to do that so you don't mess anything up. It's incredibly easy to use. You just stick the flat end underneath the buttons and then push up and then there you go. The buttons click back into place really easily too. You just make sure that the two little dashes on the inside of the button are facing the correct way and then you just put it over and push down and then there you go. The colors of the buttons on the tablet had three small black buttons and one large orange button. And then the button replacements that they sent you had three small orange buttons and then one large black button. If you get it and you don't like the look of the orange button, you can replace that one, or you can replace all of the black buttons with orange buttons, or you can mix and match. Or if you're completely indifferent, you can just save them for whenever you need a button replacement. There was, of course, a pen for this tablet to be used. Sometimes a tablet will come with a little stand for your pen. This one didn't have that, but it did come in this little fabric case. And so if you are a person who travels a lot and wants to bring your drawing tablet with you, this is a really nice addition because then that way, if you put your pen in your bag, you don't have to worry about it jumbling around and potentially getting broken because it has a nice little case to protect it. Last but most certainly not least, we got the tablet itself. I'll talk a little bit more about the space later, but I really like the size of it. I feel like it has a nice balance of giving your hand enough room to move around while also not taking up too much space on your desk. And the actual button itself, like I mentioned earlier, has a total of four buttons, three small ones, one larger button, and I just want to say they have the best clicking I have ever heard a tablet have. This tablet is a 10 out of 10 just for those button clicks alone. And then in addition to the four buttons on the tablet, there is a key dial with a button in the center to change the key dial's function. And then of course, two buttons on the tablet's pen. Another thing that was included is a little, I don't really know exactly what it's called. You take this attachment, put it on the end of the USB thing and you can actually plug it into your phone. So then that way, if you don't have a computer and you still want to get into digital art, all you need to do is download a drawing app on your phone. And this 
tablet is completely compatible with your phone. My first impressions were very, very positive. The setup was incredibly easy. All you have to do is download the driver on the website and then follow the incredibly simple instructions. <laughs> I will say if you have a driver for another tablet already installed onto your computer, it is recommended that you uninstall that one. I'm not gonna lie, I uh, forgot to do that in this video. <laughs> and I will say, when I installed the Veek driver, the fact that I had a previous driver installed didn't make this driver unable to function, but it did kind of mess up my previous driver and I had to reinstall it after filming this video. And so I would recommend just uninstalling it before you install this driver if you have one, just to make things a little bit easy for yourself down the road. After you have it installed, all you need to do to set up the hotkeys is to open the program and it's really easy to find. You can change the buttons to be whatever you want. You can set your buttons to be anything used within your art program, like a lasso tool or a watercolor brush tool or anything like that, or you can change them to things unrelated to art, like controlling the volume on your computer. I'm gonna be honest, using this tablet took quite a bit of time to get used to, and there are two reasons for that. One of them is that I use a display tablet, which if you don't know the difference between a pen tablet and a display tablet, a pen tablet is what I am using in this video. It's where you plug it into your computer and then you draw on that while looking at your computer monitor, and I normally use a display tablet, which is is something that looks like a big computer monitor and then you draw it directly onto the screen. And since I have used a display tablet for a number of years at this point, it definitely required me to relearn some hand-eye coordination and some motor skills that I hadn't used in quite a while. But if you are someone who uses a pen tablet regularly, I can't imagine this will take much of a learning curve, if a learning curve at all, for you to get used to, so. The second reason is that I, I couldn't decide <laughs> what I wanted the shortcuts to be on the tablet, which is for sure more of a me thing than probably with the tablet itself. And so during the filming of this, I kind of changed the keyboard shortcuts a couple of times, and then I just kept forgetting and pressing the wrong thing. So <laughs> again, more, more of a me thing than a problem with the tablet, but um, if you see me maybe accidentally pressing some wrong buttons or zooming in and out unnecessarily, those are mistakes that I made, just ignore that. <laughs> so what are the pros of this tablet? I am very glad you asked, viewer. And definitely not me asking myself. <clears throat> of course, the first pro is that it is a very affordable tablet. Normally on their website, it is listed for 60 US dollars, but currently it is 45 US dollars. Either way, the price is incredibly worth it for the quality. And even though this is the tablet that I am using, I will also say that this is not even the cheapest tablet that they have available, but I would say that it is incredibly worth it for the price range. So if you want to get into digital art or you're just looking for a new tablet, this is definitely a great option that won't kill your bank account. This tablet also has a lefty mode for all of my left-handed folks out there. It is just a simple checkbox away for left-handed users to enjoy this tablet too. To make the tablet compatible for left-handed users, all you have to do is put it upside down so then that way the buttons are in the bottom right instead of the top left. You just have to open the Veek application and then click the left-handed mode option and then there you go. Beautiful, beautiful tablet for all of the left-handed people out there. Also, the glove is reversible. I Every single glove is reversible, but I'm not sure if that's something that many people think about. As a right-handed person, I wore the glove, so then the company logo is on the back of my wrist. But for a left-handed user, all you would have to do is flip it around so that the logo would be on the inside of your wrist. I'm not sure how many people realize that gloves can just be reversed like that, so I, I thought I would mention that anyway. <laughs> I mentioned it already, but another pro is that this comes with nib and button replacements. A lot of other affordable alternatives that I have tried never ever have provided button replacements. And if they do provide nib replacements, they don't provide nearly as many as this tablet did, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm a pretty heavy-handed person, and so I go through nibs a lot, and so if you are anything like me, you are definitely going to be using all of these. I will also say that I really like how there is only one tool for both the nib replacement and the button replacement. As long as you have that one tool, you can do anything you need to. Uh, Ma'am! Where was I? This next pro is more of my personal thoughts than just an objective pro, but I really like the size of this tablet. And as much as I love having a large screen display tablet, I will say a big con of having those is how much space they can take up. And a big perk of pen tablets is that they are a lot smaller and more easily stored. So if you don't have a lot of desk room anyway, you can always slide them into a drawer or put them over on a shelf. And obviously since they are a lot smaller, they are more portable. I can't, I, I can't exactly bring my display tablet around with me. <laughs> But 
but a pen tablet is really easy to carry around with you because of their small size. But that said, this one is small enough to where it won't take up a lot of space in your desk drawer or on your desktop or in your backpack if you decided to take it anywhere with you. But also it has enough space for your hand to move around on it comfortably and you don't feel like you are confined to just one small space on the tablet. Another pro is that it is compatible with your phone. I have seen other tablets be compatible with your phone. It's kind of hard to find cheaper alternatives that can do that. Is the fact that this one and from the looks of it all of their pen tablets, the fact that they are compatible with your phone is a really really big plus. Someone might want to get into digital art but they don't have access to a computer or maybe they can't afford a computer or maybe they are a regular digital artist who has a computer but you know technology can be kind of unpredictable so if your computer kind of takes a crap and you still need to make digital art for whatever reason the fact that you have your phone is a really really big plus. That also does make it a lot easier to take with you places. Laptops themselves tend to be pretty portable but not everybody has a laptop me included. Hi. So if you don't have a laptop or if you're just nervous about bringing it places with you, this tablet makes digital art on the go a very viable option for people who either don't have laptops or too nervous to bring it out to public with them. My personal favorite pro is of course the clickies. I-, I... <sighs> This tablet made me realize how much I want a keyboard with these types of buttons because th these, this is just heaven. I love it so much. Before I get into the cons, I want to get into two points that can be a pro or a con just depending on who you are. The first one of which is the glove size. This glove is pretty small, which for me is a massive perk. I'll be the first to say I have little tiny baby hands and so a lot of digital art gloves don't fit me right. Even my favorite glove is way too long in the fingers and way too big in the wrist. So this glove, was a perfect fit for me. But I want to say that even though that is a massive pro for me, it could be a massive con for other people if you are someone with larger hands, so I thought that it would be a good idea for me to mention that in this video. Something that will simultaneously a pro and a con for me while filming this is the size of the buttons. It was a blessing and a curse. A lot of pen tablets I have used have hotkeys that are on the same level as the tablet, and what I mean by that is that on this tablet these buttons are protruding out of the tablet, and so then that way if you were to run your hand across the top of it, you would hit the buttons and you would feel it. A lot of other tablets that I've used, and by a lot of other tablets I mean quite literally every other tablet I've used, have buttons that are either completely flat with the tablet, so the surface is completely flat on top, or there is a slight intrusion, in, intru it's a slight dent, that cave in a tiny bit. <laughs> and I am someone who has no spatial awareness, <laughs> and whenever I would use those other tablets I would move my hand across the tablet and try to press on the button, but I could never put my hand in the right placement and so I would just be pushing my finger down on the tablet when there was no button there and then I felt like a fool. Since these buttons are a lot larger and they pop out of the tablet, I didn't have to spend any time glancing down at my tablet, which sounds like a silly little nitpicky thing, but you'd be surprised at how much time that saves. And since the buttons are a lot larger, it was a lot easier for me to find them without looking down at the tablet, and it overall just made the work process a lot smoother. That said, since I also have no spatial awareness, my hand would accidentally hit the buttons because they are larger. I'll talk about the buttons a little bit more later, but since there are four buttons on this tablet, I put my keyboard directly above my tablet on my desk, so then that way I can go and use any shortcut keys that weren't a part of any of the buttons that I put on the tablet. But since I would do that, I would reach my hand to the keyboard and then accidentally hit one of the buttons, which this is mostly a me thing again. It's not a problem with the tablet, it's completely a problem with me. But I wanted to mention that for anybody out there who might also be like me with zero spatial awareness and also is just a generally very clumsy person. Overall, I would say I much prefer these larger buttons over the buttons that tablets typically have, but I did think it was something that was important for me to mention. And now moving on to the cons, which fortunately are not many. I think the biggest con for me is that there is only four buttons. The fact that there is a key dial and buttons on the pen makes it a little bit less of an issue. With the key dial, you can go back and forth between zooming in and out and changing the brush size, or at least those are the settings that I had it set to, which is definitely a time saver, but that said, I use an insane amount of keyboard shortcuts. With the tablet that I typically use, I have a separate dial pad that has about 18 different buttons that I can program to keyboard shortcuts, and then a key dial, much like the one that you see on this tablet, and even then I find myself needing to use my keyboard a lot because I just use a lot of different tools when I am drawing, so the fact that there are only four buttons on this particular tablet was a bit of a downside for me, but if you are someone who doesn't really use a lot of keyboard shortcuts, then this isn't a super 
super big issue for you. And this is also the reason why I couldn't decide on what I wanted the buttons to be when I was programming them. Because I used so many tools, it was hard for me to sort of prioritize which one I used the most, and which ones would be on the tablet, and which ones I would reserve for the keyboard. This is a con that I can't exactly say for certain. This is just something I might be assuming for all of you left-handed folks out there, because I am a right-handed person. This might not be an issue at all for you guys, but it's something that I thought I would mention just for you guys to consider before buying. When using left-handed mode, the button placement might be a little bit more inconvenient. I am a right-handed person, and so the way that I would use this tablet is that the buttons were positioned so that they were on the upper left corner of the tablet. And since it was on the top of the tablet, it was really easy for me to go between using the buttons on the tablet and using the buttons on my keyboard. But if you are a left-handed person, they will be on the bottom right side of the tablet. And so if you need more keyboard shortcuts than what the tablet is able to provide for you, it might be a bit more complicated trying to use the buttons and the keyboard. I would say that this is more of a minor inconvenience than a real problem with the tablet. And again, I'm not left-handed, so I don't even know if this would be an issue to begin with, but it is something that I thought I would mention for my left-handed viewers. Just something that you might want to consider before buying. And that's it. Those two things are really the only things I could think to talk about for the cons of this tablet. One of them is more of a me thing, and one of them is an issue I'm not even sure is entirely there. So, that said, do I recommend this tablet? Well, I will tell you after a quick thank you to my patrons. That, that transition could have been a lot smoother, but you know what? I'll take it. I want to give a big thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this video possible, especially my tiers 3 and 4 members. Big shout out to Jules, Sammy Yang 127 Hale, The Tiny Artist, Sammy Cooper, Jupiter Draws, Miyoko Arts, Sage Rosado, Isla, It's Dorky Arts, Castle Rudel, Anna, Solisor Uwu, Nayhaven, Kiara, Hikaru, Jamie, Creatively Anxious, Dazu Bones, Michael Sasha Rose, Red Boots the Time Traveler, Kaya Knight, Lauka 2, Ava Croup, Clementine Jam, Lovely Siren, Jay Johnson, Vivi Martin, Bread, Bao Soup, Chewy Ghoul, Fantastic Artist, Newly D, Cedric James, Joss, J Maximus, Pumpkin Prince Lala, Cornflakes, Sushi Biknushi, Bug, Planting Houses, Hen, Aozakana, Ravern, Jade Gailey, V, Blue, Daydream, Blue Devil 4, OMG It's Muppet, Shara Amy, Sunset Lemonade, Danny, Corvid Dom, Kyron, Leia, Tina K, Jules F, Oswin, Luna Yoku, Caffeine Fueled, Sammy the Boy Draws, Mickey, Max McKinnon, K Manning, Anime Fan 110, Spotman Defenestration, Seafair, Luxtorium, Yuinimon, Nontoxic, Kippy, Fruion, Mari, and Ali. Thank you all so much for the extra support. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in becoming a part of my Patreon, check the link in the description box below. Do I recommend this tablet? Absolutely. Throughout my art career, I have used a lot of tablets, whether they are tablets that I got myself or were gifts from other people, or tablets that I used when I was in school, or tablets that I tried while I was at a friend's house. I can confidently say that this is a really great alternative to a lot of the more expensive tablets out there. It's a really nice tablet for people who are both beginners trying to figure out where to start with their digital art, or experienced artists looking for a new tablet. And I am very grateful to Vic for reaching out to me to share this tablet with you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you again to Vic for reaching out to me and sponsoring this video. Again, there are links that you can use in the description box below if you're interested in using this tablet. I would really recommend it. And I also want to say that if you liked this video, please consider subscribing. If you liked the art in this video, please consider subscribing. I am currently working on what is probably my biggest video to date. <laughs> there is a lot of filming and a lot of editing in there and it is becoming a very big project, a much bigger project than I thought it was going to be. I would really appreciate you sticking around for that. Thank you for making it this far if you have, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.